Um, very much welcome to Minister Pascal Dunhu joining us here today. It's great to have you in the chamber, Minister. And I mean, to give us an update on the future of banking. And it is a very different world that we have today compared to like a year or two years ago. I suppose when we were looking at economy, you know, close to full employment and, you know, everything that had been done to bring this economy back to financial stability. Um, the points that you've mentioned, Minister, here that you've given us in your opening statements are how you have acted in, the, in, I suppose, to anticipate and to support businesses and people in banking, I suppose, over the past year. The payment breaks, I think, is extremely welcome. As you've mentioned earlier, that I think has had a real impact. Um, you've also spoken about sort of senior executive accountability with the SEER programme and how we need to rebuild trust. Um, the consolidation and competition, again, points to the regulation, heavy regulation with the banking area. Um, but also raises concerns about competition. So if I could ask the Minister, I suppose, just how do you propose in the next year to two years that we're going to increase competit competitive nature between the banking systems? Also, I suppose, coming from Roscommon and Galway, um, Minister, I mean, it is about the credit unions and the post offices. You know, we've seen that there's closures at a local level, but as you've mentioned, banking is changing. Technology is very important, and it's great to see the National Broadband Ireland Plan been rolled out. Would you believe that half of all premises in Roscommon are in the intervention area? 3,000 of those have now been surveyed. So broadband is crucial. We need to see that rollout happening, and it is over the next year to two years. Um, I suppose, Minister, uh, it's been pointed to extremely high household savings, um, but how do we encourage this morning on Radio 1, you know, they were speaking about, you know, that there's the Irish culture of investing in property, but, you know, how do we look at also investing in equity? I suppose having worked in innovation before and working with startups, um, you know, how do we look to supporting Irish businesses and supporting startups and entrepreneurs, um, and how do we encourage people to look at that type of saving? Uh, do I still have time, Kihirok? Uh, yes, Thank you. Um, and I suppose then, just very finally, um, that Minister, I suppose innovation is how we're going to develop. Um, you know, it's really good today, coming from Roscommon and East Galway, there was a jobs announcement today, just as we're literally looking at, you know, uh, the economy slowly opening up and bringing back hope. We saw 50 jobs announced for Roscommon and 20 jobs for Galway. So there is hope out there. Businesses are doing the best. They are pulling ahead. Um, we need to support them, and I suppose, just to ensure how they can be innovative and competitive moving forward. Thank you.